Alan, pride of place in your machine shop here is your new Herco DCX32 5SI double column machining centre. Why did you buy this? Uh, it's just the next step for us. Um, it takes the business forward again uh, with the complexity components that we can manufacture for our customers and also the size and the volume as well. It, it's exciting, as you said, for where we are. Um, it's just a, a natural regression for us. Because GKM Aerospace is on here, certainly this part here is, is an aerospace part, isn't it, that you're machining. Yeah. What, what's the overall aim for a part like this? Are you looking to machine it to the tightest of tolerances or do you just want to get it off the machine as fast as possible and there's less ops? It's, yeah, less operations for us and it's a combination of the two. So we're just learning the machine at the moment. So we're not overloaded with the volume that we've got coming through on this. It's us understanding the machine, the machine, the capability it's got, and also the accuracy of that. So once we've proven the part out, well, then we go back and re-engineer what we've got, and we're taking about 40% out in our cycle times as we get comfortable with learning about the machine and its capabilities as well. So we're not pushing it straight from the start. Because this is the first machine of this nature into the UK, isn't it? Herco have got their double column D632s that are three-axis machining centres and 22s, and they sell a lot of them. But this is the first five axis in the country, correct? Yeah, it is, yeah, it's exciting for us. And, and for you, did you want to be the first to have one of these machines to give you that competitive edge? Yeah, we, once we saw the first one, or the third one in production in Andover, then yeah, once we saw that, we knew the fit was right for us as well going forward. I'm assuming, now is this machine a full five axis simultaneous machine as well as positional? Yes, it is, yeah. And how fast is it? It's 18, spindle. It's 18,000 RPM. Uh, we've got the in probing cycle from Granny Shore as well. Leading a scaling for the accuracy of that, I think to have been about repeatable, about two to three microns as well. So it does actually. So even though you're not necessarily on this particular component, component chasing that tight tolerance, this machine with it, with the direct measuring or the linear scales is perfectly capable of achieving great results. Yeah, in, in support of Airbus as well, some of the product parts we've got for those guys, where we're looking at six vector positionals, uh, it will support us in that going forward. So it gives us the ability to put uh, commercial airframes on here, which we've got, or high value, low volume, uh, complex, uh, prismatic machining. With it being a double column, that, that gives you the same machining performance throughout the envelope, doesn't it, because of it, its rigidity. And with that being the case, I mean, how fast are you actually machining on this machine in terms of the, the feed rates and, and, and the depths of cut? At the moment, we're only pushing it to about 7.5 mil depth on aluminium uh, to about six to 7,000 meters per minute. As I said, it's just about us getting comfortable with the machine and not pushing it too much at the start and being comfortable where we are with what we do. Let's go around the side of the machine because it's great for our viewers to get a different positional uh, view. Alan, coming around here really does as well demonstrate the, the, the size of this machine. What is the working envelope? It's 3.2 metres by just under 2 metres in the y-axis. So having that extra y-axis as well, I mean, compared to what other machines you've got in the machine shop, how much bigger is this than your next biggest y-axis machine? It's double on capacity on the y-axis for us. Wow, that, and, the, and the work holding that you've got here, you, you look like you're holding this, this aerospace part on, a, on very minimal amounts of material using this Lang work holding system. Yeah, there's about three or four mil that that, that holds onto. Uh, they're all torqued up. So I say, with the aid of the new tooling for that and this area, it just lets you access the part a lot better. Uh, it's, it's all about process and attacking it in the right way. And that gives us the opportunity to do that. Now, concentrating on the, the, uh, the spindle there and also the tool changer, I know it's an HSK 63 high speed 18,000 RPM spindle as standard. But how many tools has the magazine got? It's got 40 tool holders there. Okay, and when, and when we look at this head as well, it, often you're looking at machining in the sides. Can you, can you get to negative and, angles? So can you position the, the spindle kind of upwards? Yeah, it comes up to 110 degrees. So it gives us that negative approach to the part as well. And does the spindle rotate a full 360? Yes, it does, yeah. No, so it gives you total flexibility in your five axis machining, doesn't yeah. it? Simultaneous, yeah. And how have you found the new control here as well, Alan, since Herco have gone up to their new their new Max 5. The feedback from all the guys that are using it is it's so, so much user friendly or easier to use those than the other programs. So yeah, all good. And looking at it from this angle as well, it does really give you a, a full idea of how well the machine's built, the construction of the double column. How much does the machine weigh and how, what, what, what's the preparation you need to install it? Uh, we had a pit dug for this at 600 mil deep, uh, reinforced concrete, which I had to set originally. Uh, this weighs up to about 42 tonne. Uh, you had to settle down and bed back in before they come to realign it and do the, do the commissioning with the laser, laser levels and stuff. So, it's a, as you say, it's a very heavy, very sturdy machine, but the phenomenal one accuracy. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining as well, with, with a part like this, when you do get fully experienced with a machine, you're, you're going to be removing a lot of material here 
how about getting the material out? I'm just looking down. Have you, have you got a swarf auger either side of this? Yeah, the swarf manager this is brilliant. So either side of that is a swarf auger, um, and it makes it a lot easier as well for the maintaining of the machine. And is there is there growth control on the machine as well? So. If you, again, if you machine a lot of materials, the mach machine gets warmer. Is that controlled? Yeah, there's thermal stability on the, on the uh, spindle uh, and also for the temperature for the coolant as well. Uh, and with the Renishaw in, in, in manufacture probing, we've got complete control of that as well. So for you then, for, for GK Merisus, this is a, a massive investment, isn't it? But it's obviously going to pay dividend. Yeah, hopefully, as I said, it's not just for the machine, it's for the guys as well. So yeah, both go hand in hand there. And this isn't the only Herco you, machine you've got here, is it, Alan? Just give us a, a very, very brief summary of your, your partnership with them over recent years and, and, and why you opted for this big double column machine. I think for us with Herco, um, it's been impressive with the amount of support they've given us, uh, with the training that's been available for us as well. I think it's our sixth one now. Uh, and for us, it's the chosen machine tool where we want to go with the business as well. So from software to support to mechanical, those guys have been phenomenal.